Anthem of Europe is the anthem used by two organizations, the Council of Europe to represent the whole of Europe, and the European Union. It is based on Ode to Joy from the final movement of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony composed in 1823. The anthem is played on official occasions such as political or civil events. Composer Ludwig van Beethoven Friedrich Schiller wrote the poem and Die Freude in 1785 as a celebration of the brotherhood of man. In later life, the poet was contemptuous of this popularity and dismissed the poem as typical of the bad taste of the age in which it had been written. After Schiller's death, the poem provided the words for the choral movement of Ludwig van Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. In 1971 the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe decided to propose adopting the prelude to the Ode to Joy from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony as the anthem, taking up a suggestion made by Richard von Kudenhof Kalergi in 1955. Beethoven was generally seen as the natural choice for a European anthem. The Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe officially announced the European anthem on January 19, 1972 at Strasbourg, the prelude to Ode to Joy, fourth movement of Ludwig van Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. In 1974 the same piece of music was adopted as the national anthem of the unrecognized state of Rhodesia. Conductor Herbert von Karajan was asked to write three instrumental arrangements, for solo piano, for wind instruments and for symphony orchestra, and he conducted the performance used to make the official recording. He wrote his decisions on the score, notably those concerning the tempo. Karajan decided on minim equals 80 whereas Beethoven had written crotchet equals 120. The anthem was launched via a major information campaign on Europe Day in 1972. In 1985, it was adopted by EU heads of state and government as the official anthem of the then European community since 1993 the European Union. It is not intended to replace the national anthems of the member states but rather to celebrate the values they all share in their unity and diversity. It expresses the ideals of a united Europe, freedom, peace, and solidarity. It was to have been included in the European Constitution along with the other European symbols, however, the treaty failed ratification and was replaced by the Treaty of Lisbon, which does not include any symbols. A declaration was attached to the treaty, in which 16 member states formally recognized the proposed symbols. In response, the European Parliament decided that it would make greater use of the anthem, for example at official occasions. In October 2008, the Parliament changed its rules of procedure to have the anthem played at the opening of Parliament after elections and at formal sittings. Ode to Joy is the anthem of the Council of Europe and the European Union. In the context of the Co, the anthem is used to represent all of Europe. In the context of the EU, the anthem is used to represent the Union and its people. It is used on occasions such as Europe Day and formal events such as the signing of treaties. The European Parliament seeks to make greater use of the music, then Parliament President Hans Gert Pottering stated he was moved when the anthem was played for him on his visit to Israel and ought to be used in Europe more often. The German public radio station Deutschlandfunk has broadcast the anthem together with the Deutschland late shortly before midnight since New Year's Eve 2006. The two anthems were specially recorded by the Berlin Radio Symphony Orchestra in versions characterized by modesty and intensity. At the 2007 signing ceremony for the Treaty of Lisbon, the plenipotentiaries of the European Union's 27 member states stood in attendance while the Ode to Joy was played and a choir of 26 Portuguese children sang the original German lyrics. In 2008 it was used by Kosovo as its national anthem until it adopted its own, and it was played at its Declaration of Independence, as a nod to the EU's role in its independence from Serbia. Ode to Joy, automatically orchestrated in seven different styles, has been used on June 18, 2015 during the ceremony celebrating the 5000th ERC grantee as Anthem of the European Research Council to represent achievements of European research. Ode to Joy is used as the theme song to the 2016 UEFA Euro qualifying and the European qualifying of the 2018 FIFA World Cup football competition at the introduction of every match. In 2017, members of the Parliament of the United Kingdom from the Scottish National Party first whistled and then sang Ode to Joy during a vote at the House of Commons to protest against Brexit. In 2018, the Anthem of Japan and the Anthem of the EU were performed in Tokyo during the official signing of the EU-Japan Economic Partnership Agreement. The European Anthem often gets played at the sign of official economic or political agreements with foreign governments. Thanks for watching.